Olenka and I love to cook. And today I would like to share a recipe that is a traditional one for the United States and I think in Canada also uh, and in some other countries as well. It's called eggnog. This eggnog could be elevated with a little bit of kick of pisco, right? So what is pisco? Pisco is Peruvian distilled grape brandy. It's pure, it's delicious, it's aromatic and it has a sort of varietals. In this case, we're going to be using a cholado pisco. That's one thing. Do not worry if you have people that cannot drink alcohol, such as kids, right? Because you can make the regular version and then you can kick it for grown-ups that need some relaxation, right? Okay, so um, this is a recipe that you can make at home and once you make it, you're gonna see that you will never buy again a box of eggnog with all due respect to the industry. So follow me to watch the preparation because you're gonna love it. This eggnog version, it's a cooked one. So do not worry about raw eggs because they are going to be fully cooked at the end. I'm gonna show you how, you know, so then you do not end up with scrambled eggs, right? So I got you. Our ingredients for our homemade delicious eggnog or pisnog is eggs, sugar, salt, we need a little bit of nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, cream, and milk, and that's it. Step number one, we are going to combine our salt okay, and sugar, and here we are going to beat all of this together with our eggs. Now that I have my six eggs here with my salt and sugar, I'm gonna start beating this. And you are going to beat this until everything is very light and fluffy. Because from this depends the success of this delicious drink. How creamy and fluffy they are this is exactly what you are looking for uh, maybe we can take a closer look so then you can see how fluffy and frothy you know this is what we are looking for in the meantime we are going to warm up our milk we are going to warm it up for medium heat you do not want your milk to boil because then it's gonna curdle and we do not want that, okay? So this is gonna warm up. Okay, so my milk, it's warm. It's not boiling once again because you do not want the milk to boil. And here we are going, now, you know, here are my eggs, right? So here I am going to incorporate a little bit of this warm milk. Why? Because I want to temper my eggs so then they don't have a shock when they get in contact with a warm milk, right? My tempered eggs are ready to be poured into my milk. You need a whisk and once you pour your egg mixture in here, you're gonna start whisking, 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 whisking for about five minutes until everything gets together to the point when you pull your whisker up, you're gonna see it coated and I'm gonna show it to you. Try to go with your whisk all over your pot because you want to prevent if there's any part of your pot that could get in stick or anything, right? Okay, my friends, my eggnog is absolutely creamy, right? The eggs are cooked, so this is a fake mixture. If you would like to come and take a look, you know, this is fake. The right temperature is between 155 and 160 Fahrenheit. 
okay and now I have to turn off my stove in order to add my cream okay okay at this point look how thick this mixture is it's thick and creamy right now here I am going off the stove I am going to incorporate my heavy whipped cream and the spices It doesn't just taste delicious, but the aromas, you know, those warm spices that tell you that Christmas is around the corner, right? So now we're gonna pour it on into our pitcher here. Guess what? The smell brought my kids here. Huh? So would you like to taste? Yes. Yes? In a glass or in a cup, you put some ice, and then you pour your eggnog there. And now, mama needs a little eggnog with some cake, right? So ice, let's go. And now we're gonna mix it. We are going to say cheers! Cheers! Chin -chin. Salute my friends! Happy holidays! Well my friends, this is a delicious great option that you can make at home. I think we are happy, right? What do you think? I'm way too happy to say this is really good! Me too! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much for following us. And remember, use your secret weapon. Use your love. Your love. love. Always. Hugs and kisses to you all. I'm sorry. Hugs and kisses to you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.